Okay, I'm continuing to do uh, experiments uh, with the John Bedini hydrate crystal cell that I built. And I do not know if I made this correctly or not. But uh, I did to go ahead and seal it up uh, with the tape uh, like uh, he and uh, Chuck have done on their cell. And this is where the cell sits right now when it's uh, unloaded. It's uh, about one volt a little over one volt and I've run it on several different things including an SSG circuit John just to see how that performed and it, it's performing quite well on an SSG circuit and I also ran it on my little AM radio that uh, I built and it will run uh, the AM radio without the amplifier part but uh, what I, I'm going to show today is, is kind of interesting and uh, it involves this little light multiplier thing that I built uh, months and months ago. And, of course, Maggie that the people are familiar with right now. And the way Maggie works is if you put a magnet in front of her and twirl it, it, uh, it makes her light up. This is the voltage that it generates here. And that's on a scale uh, so that it's about half a volt when I'm twirling this like this. But what I wanted to show was <clears throat> how far down this battery voltage goes when it's loaded with the amperage here. I'm going to show the amp draw here on this. And you can see the uh, two amps or, or two milliamps uh, draw. And this goes down to less than half a volt on the uh, cell voltage. And then when you disconnect the, the um, pulse motor, it comes back up again. But I want to also show what, what Penny does to this. And what I've got here is I've got a setup where I've got Penny disconnected from the pickup coil, which is what Maggie is. I'm going to show the uh, voltage on the pickup coil with um, Maggie's uh, LED eyes on. And then I'm going to show what happens when I hook Penny up to this thing. And I thought this was rather interesting, but you'll be surprised at how far down this loaded voltage goes when I get this going. Let me start it up here. I'll connect the... Uh, the power to it and the uh, amp meter is now in uh, series with everything so I can show the amperage. Just put a good amp a meter here. Um, this is uh, pretty accurate I found out. I don't need to use an analog meter uh, necessarily on this experiment to give me some idea anyway of what is going on. Here again that's the standing voltage on this uh, cell that is now all sealed up. And uh, let me see if I can get this to start up here. This is a funky way to do this, but uh, it, it's the only thing I've got that runs on this low, low power that I can use for this demonstration. So let's see how I can go here. Okay, there's that spinning up. And there's, uh, there's Maggie's eyes. There's the voltage on Maggie right now. It's about 1.8. And... Uh, that's with her uh, energized. And look at the uh, the voltage on the cell is dropping uh, down. And there's my amp draw at about 4 milliamps. Now, <clears throat> this is running now. This is this light multiplier thing that if you go back in my video series, you'll see what that's all about. It's similar to the uh, Bedini SSG circuit but uh, it's a little bit different. Uh, I don't have any charging um, circuitry on that. It's a uh, Maggie is the pickup coil that I wanted to show here, but take a look at that. Now watch what happens when I hook Penny up to this. I'm going to put Penny in the, in, the, in the parallel here. And there goes Penny. Look at the voltage. And Maggie's still on. There's my standing voltage on the cell. There's the amp draw. And there's that. And I thought that was very, very, very interesting that uh, when I connect Penny up to that, and uh, I'll turn the radio on so you can hear, hear what she sounds like. I was just real surprised to see that voltage go up to that point when I hooked a penny up to this. Let me disconnect her here. 
you'll hear her wind down. Now that voltage there is what's on Maggie right now. And uh, Maggie's uh, producing that kind of voltage. Now see the cell is dropping down in voltage. It's uh, kind of coming back up a little bit now. Here's my amp draw. Let me do this one more time. I'll put Penny back in the circuitry here. Anyway, I thought that was uh, rather interesting, that phenomena. And that these, uh, these voltages and amp draws were interesting to look at. And by the way, I, I draw no conclusions from what I'm seeing here at all. Uh, I'm starting to get some negative feedback from folks on, uh, on this whole thing here. And just remember that all I'm doing here is trying to replicate and test something. And I don't make any claims to its uh, accuracy or what it means at all. It's just that uh, this is something I can do at my house on a kitchen table. And some of the other stuff that I'd like to do, I don't have the laboratory facility to do it. So I'm forced to do these kinds of experiments. And I make no claims as to what they mean at all. And I uh, hope I don't step on people's toes. But this... Uh, the Bedini hydrate crystal cell was very hard to make and uh, I just disconnected it here and see the cell is going back up again in a standing voltage and this will go back up to about one volt and um, John and Chuck if this is offensive to you let's let me know and I'll pull the videos and uh, start on something else but I did want to take a stab at this and see what I could do and uh, it was a very interesting little project so far Anyway, that's what I'm showing for today. Thanks for watching.